Hi guys, today I'm going to talk about vapor flight after 500 km. This is the, my first vapor flight that I used and I brought it and used for 500 km. Let's have a look on the upper, the bottom, and the side and how it's built after 500 m. Let's start with the upper. From the upper, you can see the vapor width are still in a very good condition everything are still intact but one thing is the logo of the nike the swoosh are coming off so you can see from here and the top part over here the swoosh the gold color has coming out the color might be different because this is custom by you the nike custom by you so you can see there's a logo over here if you want to see how's the design during the first i get it you can see the video and by clicking the link on the top over here so the upper the vapor width are still intact just a bit white become a bit yellow because it's only 500 kilometers and some of those are just some dirt mark all around the shoes then we can now we move on to the midsole so on the midsole we can see the compressed marks on the zoom max so you can see and, and here i got the new Vapor flight max percent two, so we can compare side by side how the both compression of the zoom X look like. So you can see it here, the old one you can see the wrinkle of the zoom X and the compression level at my forefoot because I'm running on the forefoot, so you can see the compression level at here. Meanwhile, for the new shoes, you can even can and not see any compression yet. Because it is just a zero mileage, I just received it a week ago. I get it from the Nike Days 15% off of these shoes. It's a great deal, so I just get it. And I quite like this color. And I'm going to review it on the next session because I'm going to have a review on these shoes. So you can see on the midsole over here, all the zoom X are compressed and the line and way here and here. So you can see actually there's some more compression over here on my right foot and a bit of the gum on the top and bottom are starting coming off because it's 500 meter and now we're moving forward to the bottom of the shoes so this is the place that taking all the wear so you can see from the front if you notice on my right foot here this part of the rubber has been chipped off and already starting eating to the second layer of the zoom X. You can see this is the second layer of the zoom X when it's starting to eat in. And because I'm over pronation, so I'm all the way I'm taking the heat on this part. Because I'm towed off, so there's a lot of thing, a lot of rubber losing from here. Same towards here. I haven't able to see the carbon plate yet, but I can feel the carbon plate on the wear part of the rubbers so you can see all the rubber here are crumbling down because i'm running on the tarmac so the roots are quite rough but meanwhile over here we still can see a lot of rubbers because i mostly i land on the outer side of the shoes and when moving backwards you can see all the zoom x that expose the ground still in the what we call a uh, acceptable situation and the two rubber still in quite a good condition. Mostly I run on the forefoot. I'm using on the long run, fast pace, a marathon pace around 430 or below that. So I'm using these shoes for all my fast pace. So all the place that I land is on the forefoot. So you can see here I raise all the zoom X already eaten off and the rubber still in good condition on the back over here. Let's see on the right foot. Sorry, on the left foot. So on the left foot, same, the upper, the golden color swoosh are coming off on the front and on the bend part where my leg rotates, so the zoom, the swoosh, the gold color swoosh are coming off. Besides that, the upper are still in a quite good condition and similar issue on the right foot, then some of the gum on the top and bottom are coming off. Must be so okay, must be 500 meter, kilometers. And on the left foot, I notice some of the part of the front of the Sumer shoes over here are coming off a bit. 
but I still cannot see the carbon plane, so it's still acceptable for me. But where on the shoes on the bottom of my left foot are quite different compared to my right foot. So you can see my right foot, there's a lot of toe off on the rubber. Meanwhile, on my left foot, there's quite less because it takes more impact on the outer side of the middle of shoes. You can see here the rubbers are starting up eaten off much more compared to the left right side so some of the rubber coming off and I still can feel the carbon plate over here and meanwhile when moving backwards to the shoes the rubber here are taking some of the heat because of my running style my left foot will be have a heel strike on my left foot meanwhile my right foot are mostly on the forefoot so you can see the difference of the wear of the shoes. My right side is mostly on the front. My left side is mostly on this part. So you can see some of the wear on here. Same, you can see the compression on the zoom max. From the front to the back, you can see the compression line. This is the compression of the zoom max. The feel of the shoes, the bounce here is still at there. And the sound of the swoosh sounds still horrible even though it's really 500 kilometers. I already tired these shoes from racing even I didn't have much race in this past two years and this will going for my daily trainer until maybe 1000 kilometers hopefully it can go up to 1000 kilometers. To summarize and conclusion about these shoes yes the shoe is very fast and like I just love these shoes it's more durable than I thought because a lot of people say the zoom X starting to break down. Yes, it's break down, but I still can feel the bounciest of the zoom X, even though it's 500 meter. It's less bouncy compared to the new shoes that I just went for testing. Yeah, it's quite bouncy. Compared to this, it's uh, less bouncy because they use quite a distance. So I will use it as a daily trainer right now for my speed book, or uh, maybe some high intensity interval of some fun lap. Because it's a fun shoe to run on it and I just love to run on it. So far the carbon fiber plate are still very rigid, it's still not losing up and the sound of the sumac still around. So this is how the shoes look like after 500 km and we might see it in 1000 km review. See you soon!